That's it. All right. Ito na. Episode 50. Hello. Happy Hello. New Year again. Ito na. Fresh into the New Year. Gusto naman natin pag-usapan what awaits the Philippine political landscape. And you cannot talk about the Philippine political landscape. Of course, Mark, di ba? Kung hindi natin napag-usapan din ang opposition, no? Opposition. Yes. Pero bago oh, natin ang opposition, pag-usapan natin si Buyas. Kamusta ang presyo ng si Buyas? <laughs> <laughs> Mura! Oh, sa kadiwa. <laughs> Mura pag ano, wala ka ng ibang kakainin si Buyas oh, lang. Mura. Sa kadiwa, oh. Yan. And, uh, now, of course, before speaking of the opposition, can we do an overall, anong overall um, assessment mo ng first six months ni BBM? If you're gonna give him a score of 1 to 10, Uh, ano yung score yeah, BBM? Or depending on the issues. How are you going to score him? Depending on the issues. Uh, yun na lang, para fair. Anong uh, kasa mo, bro? Mahirap, mahirap magbigay ako ng exact number. Ah. Pero, sa, okay, sa akin passing grade, ganun na lang. Uh, good, bad, or ugly? Uh, sa, sa akin, pasado. De- definitely pasado. Mm-hmm. Uh, kasi maraming mga issues na import. Kasi on a personal level. Eh. Mas yeah, ma- may mga, yung mga issues, tsaka yung mga concerns na malapit sa akin, mas okay si PDBM sa akin kaysa kay PRRD. So, yun, yun, ang, yun ang... Kaya siguro I give him a passing grade. So, yun ang, yun, yun ang ano sa akin. Like, uh, uh, sa human rights, right. ba, like, sa yung focus sa ekonomiya. Right. Mga so, may mga ganong issues na... Ta, foreign policy, definitely. So, yeah. sa mga issue na ganon, pasado sa akin. Kasi, kasi nakikinig ka kay Haydar yan. Kasi si Aidar. <laughs> Aminin. Nakinig ko. Oh. Aidar yan. Ayan tayo. Delikado tayo so, Pero yun, yun nga, at the same time, may mga areas na, na kulang din. Na, na, like sa, kulang sa political will, sa communication nila. So, maraming maraming mga pagkukulang din. Right. Pero, pero sa, for me, mas, mas, ma, mas matimbang yung mga ano, mas okay. Yung mga okay. Mga areas na mas okay. Oo. Oh. Oh. Um, ano yung pinaka nag-stand out sa'yo na okay? Aside from sinasabi ni Haydar yan. <laughs> ano yung pinaka <laughs> like, bukod sa, first thing comes to your mind na boom, okay to, okay to, vibes to. Bukod sa foreign policy na shift, uh, yung project na gusto ko, yung 6 million na target sa pabahay. So hindi ko alam kung... Affordable housing. Oh, affordable housing. Hindi so, ko alam kung may hit na. Uh-huh. Oh, pero kung kasi even nung last election so yun naman yung isa din sa ano ko sa mga key na yes. uh, I'm, I'm on with you this affordable housing yun yeah. tsaka like uh, ako for someone from Manila kasi kung ang ang focus is uh, in-city vertical housing ang makikinabang dyan mga cities like Manila Paloocan Quezon City right. na uh, puro informal settlers yeah. so yung yeah. yung aspeto na yun, sana magawa nila kasi ngayon, puro may mga plano, may mga ginagawa, right. may mga pag-uusap. So, yun, yun so far yung mga gusto kong ano. Plus more, yung, condominium, yung... more condominium style, maybe? Mga well, ganon. So, yeah. I, I'm a big oh. fan of that condominium project. I like it. Of course, we want to still see over time how it fares. But you know, putting aside politics, I, it's, it's one of my favorite projects that happened over the years. No, Nagkataon yeah, lang, no. it is ko yan. But, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> Mabash na naman tayo. No, no, I'm just saying, you know, I'm just, uh, you know, oh. not, okay. Wala, kasi we're going to talk about opposition. I'm sure gagamitin na naman to against me. Um, pero balikan natin to. Um, ano yung medyo hindi ka, medyo alanganin ka kay Mar- Marco, Marcos? Kasi sa'yo mo, lack of political will. What do you mean? Is political will yung nanggugulo si tatay di ko, yung tinetreta ng mga oligarch? You know? Like, what do you mean by that? Like, what is your understanding of political will? Uh, ano eh, parang, uh, for example, yung kay... Erwin Tulfo. Na, ah, interesting. Yung mga ganun. Kasi si Tatay Digong, pag may sinabi, talagang yun, yun at yun ang gagawin. Si PBBM, iniiwasan yung mga mabibigat na issues eh. Hindi siya... Hindi, more evasive. More evasive eh. Kaya, mm-hmm. yun ang nagiging problema. Well, I would beg to disagree on Tatay Digong sticking to what he said. I mean, paiba-iba yung sinasabi niya minsan for 10 times. But, oh. but I see what you're saying. <laughs> At least he's willing to take on controversial issues. In fact, he embraces controversy, right? Well, si PBM parang gusto niya medyo ano lang, above the fray, medyo statesman, oh, ay na medyo bardagulan. Ayun ang bardagulan si Tatay Digong gusto niya. I, I get what you're saying. So for you, yung let's say, hindi lang political will eh, parang 
parang bardagulan will na lang ang <laughs> tawagin natin diyan di ba ay, ay parang, hey, medyo 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 leaning towards authoritarian oh <laughs> may ganung may ganung bet sa kay Digong eh kaya you could you could ano eh yung political will niya medyo sumosobra naman yeah, yeah, yeah. na pag sinabi niya ganito ganito Right. Diba si PBBM, hindi mo maintindihan kung ano nangyayari minsan. Eh. Kung... They doesn't have any uh, authoritarian personal tendencies. Na ibang oh. usapan yung Marcos says. No? But I'm talking about just PBM himself. So far naman, so good at least so on that. Uh, ako naman, of course, I'm asking you. Uh, as I said, of course, I'm on the record, I think on the foreign policy, I'll give him very good grade uh, on that for many reasons. But it's up for updating, of course. Uh, there are many things he started that may not be sustainable over time. Because you can just go on saying nice things to both China and US and try to please both sides forever. It's not going to work. At some point, something has to give. So while I'll, I, I'll give him a pretty good score for the first six months or so, the sustainability is a big issue for me. Uh, dun sa alanganin, hmm, yun nga eh. Kanina, pinag-usapan natin dun sa isang episode yung issue ng medyo magulo sa loob, di ba? Yung constant reshuffling and all. And not to mention, and by the way, when I say, anong assessment mo, naka-adjust na po yung expectations, no? So obviously, I'm not using the standard that I use for, I don't know, assessing French politics or Swedish politics, right? Kasi alam na natin, when it comes to Marcos, there are certain issues whereby you're not gonna expect much of a movement on, no? For You you can guess what I'm talking about, right? So given na na-adjust ko na already yung expectations based on that pedigree, ang point ko is, I'm still a little bit disappointed with some of these things is happening with all of this reshuffling and all. Okay, I hope we'll see kind of an end of it. Uh, but I'm also surprised. I'm also surprised dun sa communications. It's much poorer than I expected, no? which we also talked about. Or also surprised by that. I, I was expecting very glossy, constant, performative, populist. Hindi, medyo walang masyadong matinong spokesman, hindi ganun ka next level create. Parang magaling lang sila nung campaign, pero afterwards, I don't know what happened eh. Parang medyo, di ba, surprising yun, no? I, I think that's the big surprise. Oh, hindi kasi we got used to ano eh. Uh, we got used to do PRRD na pag merong isang lumaban sa kanila, tusugod lahat, yeah, exactly. ano lahat. Arm. May ganun. Oh, ngayon wala eh. Ngayon, walang, ano, parang free walang, for all, no? Parang free for all. all eh. Yeah. Oh, eh. And there's no coherent narrative fighting back. It's really strange. I really find, like, oh. I, I didn't expect this to happen now. Siguro, sabi ko, mamaya siguro after midterms, mga ganun. Parang, parang wala pang one year. Nag, parang nag, nag, nawala ng momentum or something. So I don't know what they're gonna do. So I like the fact that you pointed that out. Kasi may, yun yung din ang sense ko, but when yung sinabi mo, from your perspective, parang na-confirm yung sense ko, parang, di ba parang medyo, Mainhin masyado. Mahina eh. Medyo, it's not anywhere close to where I thought it would be based on what we saw during elections. Very glossy, very organized. Talagang ano eh, na-box out nila yung kabila, yung opposition and all. I mean, Lenny's campaign was not a joke. It was a, it was a huge campaign. Isko had his own PR machine and yet, ang galing nung ginawa nila eh. But now, it's different. Even with Sarah, I don't know what's going on much with there kasi the PR is not as active as the father. So that's a big change I did not expect in the first six months. Now, enough of BBM for a while. Hopefully, his creative communication teams will give us more material to deal with uh, down the road. Balikan, uh, <laughs> Balikan natin ang opposition because obviously, parang ngayon, there's more chance for the opposition to thrive, no? Kasi napansin ko ngayon, ha? shout out na lang siguro. Marami ko nakikita mga kakampink na vloggers na doing very well. Yon. They're very active. Oh, And salamat yeah, din sa mga iba. Nagpapakita ng support sa akin. Including yung mga ano, dinipenda ko laban kay yung favorite director ko. <laughs> diba? <laughs> diba? So, that's inter- I didn't see that coming. That was not there during Tatay Digong's time. Now, I see a lot of kakamping vloggers doing very, very well. Oh. I'm not even na yung mga Christian Esquerra types. But I'm talking about like vloggers. Oh. You know? Dami, dumadami talaga sila. Yeah, tapos ang so, finally, o, o, finally, nare-realize na nila na there's money to make. Na, na yeah, paglalaban mo na yung... Yeah, there's audience. So, definitely, merong audience. Na, yun nga, that comes with the... Yung, yung money comes with the audience. Na merong audience yeah. na manonood na hindi siya madaling... Hindi siya mahirap gawin. Yeah. And, na paglalaban mo na yung uh, nararamdaman mo yung stand mo yung political stand mo exactly. you're making you're making decent money pa you're making good money pa so yun din ang napansin ko yeah yeah dumadami na dumarami na yung ano dumarami na yung mga uh, pink bloggers medyo late medyo late medyo late, <laughs> medyo late. <laughs> for Tatay Digong oh. but maybe not for BBM di ba oh. 
That's an interest. Hindi kasi more than more than yung pagiging anti. Yung yung syempre to uh, uh, energize yung base. Eh. Kasi okay. yung sa mga vloggers yung ginaman ng gamit. Uh, kasi ang manonood at manonood sa mga pink vloggers, yung mga naniniwala din kay Lenny. So you need to keep them energized, you need to keep ah, them updated. See, see, yeah, yeah. Sila yung mga locomotive, so, no? They, they, they yes. They keep, keep it warm. That's, pero ako, mm. for me, I think even yung mga neutral, let's just put it, yung mga hindi masyadong strong views, napapaisipin sila. Kunyari, yung mga kritisismo dun sa situation with Bantag. Yung, kasi mga kakamping, may take din sila sa ganun, di ba? So kung ikaw, mm. para medyo nahihilo ka, kasi di mo naiintindihan, baka di DSPB yung nag-away yung mga supporters nila, pupunta ka sa kakamping, baka naman, di ba? You get what I'm saying? This is when I see a lot of pro-ISCO, uh, yung mga kaibigan natin dyan din sa uh, other side. Uh, vloggers also there and, and doing very well. And sometimes, para oh. sila ng take ng ibang DTS at kakamping. Yeah, oh. it's, it's, it's just in nahate, the nahate. world. world. Oh, that's what I was saying kasi. Kasi dahil tapos na yung election, yeah. di ba si Isko, nag-retire na. Right. So, dalawa lang ang audience eh. Sa ngayon eh. Dalawa lang ang halos ang audience. You're either uh, pro-admin or opposition. So yung right. ibang isko na vloggers na nakasama ko, nakuha nila yung audience ni Tapper C. Lapid. Ah, yeah, yeah. You were saying that. Yeah, yeah. Kaya yung bantag, all of this issue para Kaya, kaya sa anti-bantag sila, yeah. uh, they, they are heavily criticized yung uh, si Duterte and Marcos. Correct. So yun ang, yun ang nangyari. Tapos sa pro-admin side, yun ang nahati. From, na DDS na na yung iba antay na din sa admin tapos yung mga loyalista na correct na tira kay BBM interesting so ang maganda maganda yung nangyayari sa ano sa sa very at least nagkakaroon ng oo ng yeah. ng vloggers yeah. on both sides very pagdating diyan sa ano pagdating so, sa so yung iba ay naatake pa ako eh pero pero okay lang kasi ano sabi ko nga nakakatuwa nga at least no it's kasi, good kasi, no? I, I really it's like good it's good i really happy i'm really happy kasi maganda nagkakaroon ng conversation nagkakaroon ng ng Uh, it's one it's one reason din kung ano eh sa totoo lang yung 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 strength ng mga uh, Marcos and Duterte doon din naman ang galing pero kasi yung mga vloggers they started six years ago seven years ago okay. diba so doon doon din siya nags- 12 yeah oh um, kasi yung mga people who na naniniwala for example yung iba naniniwala sa Taliano yung iba naniniwala sa ganito naniniwala sa uh, martial law kung kung, kung mga yung The uh, side ng Marcos sa Marshall. Saan nila? Yeah. Saan nila nakukuha yung info nila? Wala naman silang ibang pagkukunan eh. Yeah. Kung hindi sa, sa YouTube online, and Facebook. Yeah. So, so, wala online lang din talaga yung okay. napagkukunan nila. So maganda yung ganun. Maganda yung na-start nung pink na community. And, Very interesting. Kita ko naman na, na buhay na buhay pa rin. Although, although, syempre, although I wish na ano na sa strategy medyo mag-iiba ng konti. Pero at least na-start na. Pwede, yeah. pwede bang ano, Richard? I-sabihin ko na din. Actually, sorry, sir. Please go ahead. Sorry. Yung, yes, please. Yung please. chance ko para, ano, para go, go, go. Uh, kausapin yung audience uh, ni Richard Haydarian. Ang, ang suggestion ko talaga para sa opposition, uh, kasi, kasi siyempre ang pinakamalaking ano pa rin, ang 2028, uh, the biggest ano pa rin, is Sarah. Parang the 2028 election rate is Sarah yeah. Duterte to lose. So, totoo lang. Kaya, kaya tahimik si Sarah eh. Kasi alam niya eh. Yeah. na less talk, less mistake kung status ko, yeah. she will win by a landslide sa 2028. Pero, I think, ang magandang, ang magandang baka pa ng oposisyon ngayon, kung meron mang makakatapat kay Sara Duterte, is uh, si Senator Idol Rafi Tulfo. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. I mean, he's one yeah. of the guys who could really compete and, and he's already binabangga niya uh, kagad yung mga malalaking pangalan dyan sa Senado, di ba? and gain so, support so, yeah including from mga uh, camping people including from isco supporters uh, dds probably too you know i mean it's an interesting situation oh. there yeah kasi kasi marami naman sa pinaglalaban nung nung kakamping like yung going against sabihin natin yung mga corrupt na ano ginagawa din ni ni Rafi Tulfo exactly. parang he's uh, one of the few in a, in, in a position na kayang gawin yun Right. So very few will do that. Very few will go against. Napang at saka. Bil- yeah. Oo. Oh, diba yung malalaking, malalaking mga ano, uh, Rafi Tulfo. Is, so sa akin, uh, magandang, magandang baka pa na supportahan. Uh, i-defend pa minsan-minsan. Because definitely he will be under attack. He is already seen as a possible threat sa 2028 kila yeah. Sarah. So definitely, uh, susuguri siya, takihin siya. So it would yes, be... Uh, uh, 
Oh, it would be nice to have to have uh ang tawag dito uh kakampi, may kakampi siya defending him pag kapag inaatake ng ganun. Kasi sa akin, sa akin. Oh, I get a lot of oh. engagement when I say something about the Tulfo in a good way, in, you know what I'm saying from from even this opposition side, no? Uh, which yeah. which tells you how broad the base could be down the road. Yeah. For me, many things could happen still in the next three to four. Who knows? But para para si Robin Hood Padilla, may ginawa wala sa eksena, no? Fireworks out. Medyo to mahimo konte. Hindi na wala siya, di ba? Parang like Sarah, like both of them are just quiet, no? Parang ganon nang dating, no? So parang tulfo talaga is dominating now, eh? The taas ng views, ang taas ng ano? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yung mga ginagawa ng hearing sa Senate. Yeah. Ire-recopy ng ibang mga YouTube channel tapos ang taas yeah. ng engagement. Exactly. But definitely, 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 uh, kung meron mang, kung meron mang makakatapat sa ngayon kay, kay VP Sara. As of now. Uh, yeah. As of now, as of now. Siyempre, matagal pa yan. Five and a half years pa. Yeah. Oh, uh, Rafi Tulfo is, ano, alam naman natin, preparing for the presidency, it takes three, four, five, six, six. it takes that long. To yeah. prepare for a presidency, but things so, can change in three months to six months, right? Politically, we also know that, right? Look at oh, oh, that. Oh, oh, so, so, maraming maraming pwedeng mangyari. Yeah. So yun lang. Sa akin lang, sa akin lang sa kami sa ikula sa kakamping, kasi mer maraming maraming sa kanila are wishing na it's going to be once again uh, Lenny versus Sara sa 2028, and mahirapan talaga. Eh. Uh, I don't see. I don't see how. I don't see how na na hindi, hindi lang sa mahihirapan it it will it mas advantageous pa siya kay Sara if Lenny run kasi Talaga, the same all old... in bro all in kana ano <laughs> no I'm a, I'm a, for me first oh, of all, if Lenny gets it back to the Senate I think if she does well for the Senate race and then Amy Marcus does well for the Senate race we don't know Amy could run Lenny could run I think Tulfo could run so I see your point that definitely Tulfo will be one of the contenders But for me, the, the field is even more fluid than that. I mean, who knows? In six years from now, baka laos na yung mga anti-dilawan attacks by that time. At tagal na. Yung 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 Doon sa 15 But yan. what if Tulfo can get if she goes, if she goes again? One. But what if What's why that? not the three-way race? Why not the four-way race? Yun. Yun, That's yun, my point. Yun, yeah. Uh -oh. What if Tulfo runs and BBM supports Tulfo, right? And then it's going to be interesting. You get what I'm saying? So uh, oh, for me, the field is very up. For me, for the opposition, good news yan for others to emerge like Tulfo, like all of these people, even if they may not agree with them, even if they want Lenny to run, it's still a good news because it makes the field much more competitive and open, di ba? Ako, ganun ang talagang stance ko sa Asian end. That's what I've always been saying. That's why I was saying, see, Isko, if he handled the campaign better, right? He could have made it very much a three-way race because that's what we saw in the second preference and all. But obviously, things didn't turn obviously. out that way. But who knows? Maybe in 2028, that could be the case, no? Uh, ako, I'm also, of course, watching is some of my favorite mayors natin, Mayor of Baguio. Magalong could be a vice presidential or senatorial uh, contender in few years' time down the road, di ba? Kasi ganda ng background niya, eh, di ba? Matalino. Uh, tapos police and all na in a good way, great way. Tapos maayos yung ginagawa sa Baguio, major city. Uh, na, napapamakal na rin ang mga vloggers sa kanya dahil maayos talaga yung ginagawa niya, di ba? Not perfect, but you know. So, Who knows? I mean, yeah, tama, oh. Tulfo, Magal, I don't know. You, you know what I'm saying? Magalong, like, oh. Crazy. The Laxon vote will go to Magalong for sure. Diba? The more, I mean, law and order, the law and end. Perfect. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. Lakas lang, diba? Tulfo, Magal. By the way, we're not endorsing it. We're just looking at scenarios. Baka naman, hmm. sila Hidari at Mark Gambog, they're cooking up already the campaign. No, I'm just saying, it's an idea it's worth considering. Story, diba? I think it's, it's, It's sensible. It's a reason. Yeah, yun lang ako. Ang yun lang ang worry ko lang na kasi kasi medyo masadong polarizing kasi talaga si VP Lenny. Pagdating doon sa it's not exactly her fault kasi six years ng paninira, six years ng pagtira and all that. May epekto yun eh. May epekto yun sa 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 pinoy eh. So yun yun lang yung worry ko. Pero Ako, more, ako, for very me, powerful. Yeah, no, I, very interesting to me. For me, I think 
Riza on Tiveris could also be uh, no, competitive if sh- the Lenny vote shifts to her, which is what na- I'm not saying. No, think about like for instance, I just did a poll uh, on Twitter, which is much more kakampink right, than, than anything else. So I have no illusions. If I did that poll on Facebook, I would probably get a different kind of outcome, or definitely on Twitter. Uh, I'm sorry, on TikTok. No, no. So I just ask, who are the most inspiring uh, progressive leaders of 2022? No, and and progressive in a very flexible way, meaning not trapos. No, so. So it, it doesn't mean a social democrat, socialist kind of. No, I didn't mean it in that way. Just in a non-trap way. And ang layo ni Lenny sa lahat. Tapos si, mas mataas pa si Vico kaysa kay Risa. Which doesn't, I mean, look at it. Risa in the verse, the one who's a senator. She's the one who won almost 16 million votes, right? I mean, it doesn't make sense. For me, like, ang laki nung gap. So feeling ko lang yung, uh, hindi ko lang feeling ko lang. Now, I can see, na observe ko, na yung 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 passionate support ni Lenny hindi pa rin masyadong lumilipat kay Lisa, oh. Lisa. And I only saw really Lenny making once an effort to pass pass the baton to Risa but wala nang follow through eh. Wala na. Oh. Medyo windang. So for me, the big problem for the opposition is they have to decide ano ba talagang primary ano nila na horse nila for the uh, you know upcoming races. Is it Risa or is it Lenny? And my sense is they're not decided. My sense is they still want it to be Lenny, but... Still Lenny pa rin eh. Maybe Kasi meron pa rin siya. Oo. 2025 na Senate run eh. Mukhang... May good pag- chance siya. I'm sure if oh, she goes okay. top three, the conversation will be very interesting. There again, if oh, Aimee tops it, Aimee will run. I don't think Almi oh. will be just be VP to Sarah. I think she will run for it. Maybe si Martin Romualdez na lang will be there as kind of unity team. I don't know. But I think if Aimee tops it, Aimee will run for the president. You know it better than me, no? Uh, my sense is Amy will run for the president if she tops the Senate. So 2025 is going to be a big, big, big thing for me. Uh. Vital talaga. Yeah, Kung sino yung top one, top two, top three. Uh, yeah. Really sets the tone for 2028. Yeah, and if, if, if we make the allies don't do well in 2025, that could also reflect on Sarah. Diba kasi Tatay Digong will go all in, diba, in 2025? He's, so what if they don't do well? Then I think there'll be some effect there on the Duterte brand. So 2025 will be very fascinating, very interesting for me and so much still can happen there. Yeah, and maganda tingnan din kung paano yung ano nila, uh, yung kung sino magkakasama tatakbo. Yeah. Sino yung nasa block ni Amy, kung sila Lenny will do a same block na naman, uh, ganun, or si, who will, sino yung magkakampi-kampi for I won't the be surprised. There'll be some big celebrities who'll run for Senate. Maybe Pia Wurzbach. My sense is some of them will run or are considering running for Senate in 2025. So, uh, to counter Robin Robin Hood or something like that, right? So, uh, fascinating. And I think it, as early as now, we should talk about midterms. Next year na bang midterms? Hindi pa, di ba? Two years. 2025 pa pala. Pero next year na mag-ano? Next year na mag... Uh, uh, na, exactly. Uh, exactly. Next year na mag, ano, mag-start na yung to get the ball rolling. no So that would be very fast. Uh, alam naman natin pag senatorial, usually three years mag-prepare. Diba? So uh, ngayon pa lang, nag-prepare na yung mga, ano, mga gustong tumakbo for ano. Pero yun nga, gusto ko, last din na gusto ko i-point din sa mga... Go ahead, bro. No problem. Uh, uh, so una yun. Diba? Pero gets ko din naman yung point. Definitely, Lenny is still very powerful and still in holds uh, a lot of influence. Yeah. Oh. So, pangalawa, I think I think aside from uh, concentrating on Lenny, the campaign should also look at uh, local races, yeah. congressional races, LGUs, yeah. senatorial din, o oh, senatorial din. Uh, kasi, para pag nagkakaroon ng, like, for example, di ba, uh, sa Maharlika fan, kontra sa Maharlika fan, So, alam naman natin yung kalakaran sa kongreso na yeah. who's ever the president, lahat sumusunod lang eh. Yeah, But if you have bandwagon, because alam natin kung bakit ganun yun. But if there are people who are elected because right. uh, kakampink yung nag-elect sa kanila, then right. alam nila anytime, if I lose the trust of the kakampinks, I will lose their vote. Di na ako mara right. elect exactly. Then maybe we could have more people na on the other side. At least uh, for uh, to fiscalize and to and to uh, check check and balance administration. So maybe maganda makita din ng ano. I mean nung nung party list uh, isa eh, 'di ba? Si pangalan nito. Si uh, Guanson, 'di ba? I think nakakampink vote uh, elected Guanson kaso nagka-problema yun sa problema yung uh, yeah. nominee and all that. Pero ang 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 punto nga is ayun eh, you, uh, Lenny has the numbers. Uh, they should elect 
kong uh, party list representative yeah, right. at least start from there. Right. Na who, who will who will promise na who will stand by yung mga kung ano yung gusto ng kakampaign na ano they, they will reflect that sa Congress. Yeah. That's a, that's a very good point. I mean this working it from the grassroots up while also trying to have some presence at the national level and let them meet at some point. And also working with more center or alternative candidate, whether it's Tulfo, no. whether it's Tagalong, whether it's Vico, you, you get what I'm saying? That is very right. And, yeah, exactly. For, and, for, wala na si Isko, but you know, he could have been in the conversation in different world. But next time na natin pag-usapan si Isko, I think that it's, it's a different topic. Lalo yung made in Malacan yung 2.0, whatever. Lalo pa this year yun, 2.0? February. February. Ayan. So we'll have a topic about it and then oh. let's have a... Ano ulit? Mag-showing na naman tayo together. Mag-viewing tayo together. Alright bro, thank you very much. Ano yung movies na napanoorin natin nun? I know bro. Ano yung ulit? So ano? Ano ba lang? Yung M.O.M. ni Daryl Yap. Okay. Oras de Peligro. <laughs> ni Joel Amangan. And yung... Oh, uh, oh nice. Oh, project ano? Uh, February lahat? Or like ano? Throughout the year? I think sabay-sabay lahat. Oh, wow. Plus yung Ninay movie ni Vince Tanyada. Humabol na naman si Vincent. Oh, where ang, ang kasama sa role yung anak ni Isko? Pa, yun tayo. Ayun tayo. Tawin na crossover. Saan na tayo? Crossover. Oh. Alright. Uh, that's it. That's it. Anak niyong lalaki or babae? Lalaki. Si Joaquin. Ah, yung lalaki. Artista, oh, artista, artista, artista niya. Oh. Oh. Alright, bro. Thank you very much. That was fantastic. Thank you very much. I always enjoy talking to you, bro. Um, And uh, your honest views. I'm sure folks here enjoy it. Ako, pansin ko sa mga followers, kahit yung mga iba na nagbumoto kay Lenny, they're actually, a lot of them are very open to new ideas kasi na-realize din nila, yung kakulangan ng mga, let's just call it the dilawan, not the kakampink, no? So, parati ko sinas, remember, 6 million voted for Lenny who didn't vote for the her vice president. <laughs> so, that tells you about the situation here, right? Alright, bro, thank you very much. Happy New Year and to more episodes, God willing. So, this was our episode 52. Anything to add, bro? Um, lang. Lang naman. That's it. Thank you very much. Your health. Stay healthy, stay strong, and God bless, and talk to you soon, bro. Bye. Salamat. Thank you very much. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Talk to you soon.